Where did you come from? Earth, of course. Are you Ivan's men? Ivan? Did Ivan send you? Nobody sent us. We were here already. Why is he glowing green? He's glowing green for a perfectly acceptable Terran reason, which temporarily eludes my short-term recall, but is in no way connected with the advanced technologies of other planetary species. Hargo. Are you some kind of fruit cakes? No. Nor some kind of vegetable cakes, neither. We are like you. Some kind of fleshy biped cakes. Well, I hate to do this, but I don't want to leave any loose ends. things, aren't they? Thanks. Now, trust me, I'm doing you a favour. Sayonara. Oh! Oh! Sayonara yourself, you sheet stain. Pipe-wielding personage, you appear to be slightly burst in the midsection. No, nah, ever so slightly, yes. Did he pop your friend too? Sorry, girl. No? He was bursted from another encounter. It's been a big day for bursters. Look, I know someone that can patch us up, no question. Do you have a drive? A drive? A drive, a car, a broom broom. I think I used all mine. We're gonna need a drive. Fargo? There. This one. Ah. You are desirous of vehicularly assisted transporteration. Why didn't you say? What are you doing? What should I be doing? Open the door. Ah. You prefer to advance interiorly. I prefer not to bleed to death interiorly. Open the damn door. Manacles are ridiculously fond of issuing direct imperatives without regard to rank or status. <coughs> it is sealed. <coughs> the door device is resisting my best efforts to effect ingress. That is one closed door. Hold on. I have a key. Now, can we hurry this along? Only, I'm dying here. Let's go. Indeed. Let's go. Come on, move it. Despite my meticulous application of observed driving procedure, the darn beast refuses to budge. You have tried pressing the pedal. The pedal? You can drive. It does not seem a particularly taxing technique. Now, where is this pedal MacGuffin? By your feet. Excellent. And my feet are the things in your shoes. Aha, my walk-upons. Now set your nauseulators to feather pump, because here we go! It's the other pedal. That was my second guess. This is exhilarating! Spoot! We are in motion! Okay. Make a right. Make a right what? Turn. Turn right. It's not responding. Repeat. The transport vehicle is not responding. OK. Just go straight. I think I'm blacking out. What are you doing? I'm heading at 
erected on a street would be buried. How long was I, uh... My leaky acquaintance, oh. you were never actually out of the vehicle at any time. You were simply doing the sleep thing, which in my experience often results in confusion and disorientation upon its cessation. How long's that been on there, Tal? The individual on the motor pony, approximately 7.5 of your hour, Earth, minutes. The said personage appears to be heading to the same destination as us. Wait a minute. That looks like... Stop the car. If you wish. The other pedal. That is a fine pedal. It certainly performs its function with alacrity. Cadet, there is insufficient room in the driving segment for three personages. Suggest you revert to your anterior position. Fargo. <laughs> Look at this. There's not enough liquid left in my veins for a nosebleed. are amazing. You've committed offences they haven't even got a name for yet. Can I see your licence? Licence? Your driving licence. And your insurance. Insurance? This is your car. This? No. We found it. Oh, you found it? It was just lying by the side of the road, and we availed ourselves of it in order to effect Temporally efficient transport. Wow. I am genuinely impressed. They're going to throw an entire library at you, my friend. Hey. Vic. Santina. What are you doing with Pagliacci here? This is low life, even by your undemanding standards. Oh, shut up, bad Santina. I need out of here now. This is going to be very expensive to erase from my memory. Santina, I'm busted up bad, man. I love you. Well, let's just run your credit rating through the system, shall we? Wow. No. Now the alarms are going crazy. You're rank zero. And to be frank, Vic, you don't look like you're going to make it through till lunch. Have you got any money? Money? Cash! Cash, yes! Is this hot? Santina epithetic personage. It is the correct ambient temperature for paper. Well, what kind of a job did you two losers pull to generate moolah like this? What did you do? Knock over some kindergarten full of royal children? You're sufficiently forgetful now. Who am I? Where am I? Ooh, it's all gone hazy. That chick is crunchy underwear, man. Would you believe she's my sister? It is essential we continue our journey prontonomically. My colleague is in rapid requisite of your promised assistance. Suggest we re-enter the trialing-controlled travelling device and conclude our voyage. You want to get back in the car? Did I not say that? We can walk from here. Or crawl, at least. Oh. Clean enough. I can probably fix that. The green glow, however, is way outside my expertise. The green glow is not a problem. Really? Well, it'd be the first green glow I'd ever heard of that wasn't a problem. But what do I know? I'm not even a real doctor. I'm a tailor. Matter of fact, I'm uh, not even a trained tailor. Even so, my unprofessional opinion is your suit is in urgent need of medical attention. Body repair personage, are you aware that there is a white burning stick protruding from your lower facial orifice? I know, I know. One day it's going to finish me off. Very soon, I fear. It is almost burnt down to the end. Wow. Just in the nick of time. 
Well, what's this? Looks like some kind of foliage around the entry wound. Is that abnormal? Well, it's on the ab side of normal, yeah. Right up there with glowing greenly. Our assistential acquaintance assured us that you were not a curious burstages repair person. Who's curious? An incandescent man is lying on my table sprouting a small bush from a bullet wound. I consider it worthy of comment. What do I care if he's been thrown off a small mountain by a gun-toting radioactive gorilla? Okay? I'm gonna clean out the wound. Fargo. And now for a little anaesthetic. And we're ready to operate. Would you mind waiting? In the waiting room? A room that waits? Only this is a sterile, surgical situation here. Is Cadet Niven adequately sealed? I've stitched him up. Herringbone. But he isn't lucid. On the other hand, there's no evidence that lucidity runs in your family. He keeps asking for someone named uh, Fargo. If he is repaired, we must make egress forthwith. He's lost a lot of blood. Now, I keep plenty on hand, as you might imagine, this being a tailor's shop. But your companion appears to be type Z. A blood group that does not exist in the known universe. He is requitous of more blood. A couple of pints, yeah. And if this blood is not forthcoming? Well, if we don't get it, your companion is going to die. And to die, this is not a desirable activity. On the whole, most people try and avoid it. It will impair his effectiveness. Almost certainly. Then we must acquire an adequate supply of the correct brand of blood. Sure. We'll just pop down to blood groups are us, see if they carry type weird. Let us thensely hasten. Uh, look, are you a relative of his? Not really. We sprouted in neighbouring patches. I'll bet you did. We doubtless have some long-chain spores in common, if that is of any assistance. I think we should give it a shot. Shot. Ah, attempt. Pleasant, uncomfortable, painful, discommodious, tingly, alarming, distressing, disturbing, and pointy. That's normal. And today, normal is a real bonus. Any time now, you should start feeling woozy. Then we can only assume the procedure has failed. Fargo. All right, Victor. Time to settle the accounts here. Doc, I don't feel a million percent. Yeah? 
Oh. My advice, don't get involved in any lengthy serials, or frankly, anything longer than a Polish cartoon. The money. It's in the case. Well, there better be plenty here, Vic, because like I say, your account is about to close. There's plenty. Cash. Bundles of it. Now, you owe me for what? Three bullets, two knife wounds, a crazed machete attack stitch job, and some pruning. My advice, Vic, change your family. Wait a minute, it's empty. I swear, there's plenty. The case is empty, Victor. The case is empty! So, what other real estate do we have around here, then? I'm beginning to think, Vic. These friends of yours are cut from a very bad cloth indeed. Cadet Flynn. Cadet Flynn. Cadet Flynn. Fargo. I urge you to head pell-mell for the rational side of awareness. What? Is there a problem? A problem of sorts, yes. Welcome back to the land of the living. At least temporarily. Mr. First Repairman, may I commend you heartily on the superior quality of your adhesive tape? Agreed. First rate. I can barely move. Thank you. I think. Let, let's discuss settling your account. Of course. If you would like to pass me the briefcase... There's nothing in the briefcase! Just tell him where the money is. We can all get out of here. I assure you, if you were just to loosen these tapes... Now, I'm loath to do this. Because <laughs> this is a beautiful bit of herringbone stitching. And I'd hate to see it come all unpicked. You got anything to tell me? Yes. Just before, when I said... Nyah. What, of course, I meant to say was ouch. Ouch. Likewise, when I said... Yap. Of course, I also meant... I'm glad we cleared that up. Indeed. I'm perfectly aware that Nui 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 App is not a genuine turn expression. I have no idea what possessed me to say it. <laughs> What's this? Your friend prefers pain to payment. How about you? No. I would definitely opt for the zero pain payment cash moolah option. If you would just like to Pass me the briefcase. We can conclude this. I'm a doctor and a tailor. I've dedicated my life to the elimination of pain, suffering, and frayed hemlines. <laughs> we'll say we stop all this foolishness. Pay the bill and part as friends. Agreed. <laughs> now, the briefcase. <laughs> can... You see, now, me steam pressing you is causing me distress on two counts. One, it's bad for your health. And two, it's murdered on your suit! Don't make me do it again. I'm beginning to find the exclamation, ouch, woefully inadequate for its designated purpose. In fact, I would go so far as supporting Cadet Niven's coinage <laughs> as vastly superior. What have you done with the supervisor? Supervisor? 
Was there anybody else here with these two? Well, take a look around, just in case. We wouldn't want any off-the-peg interlopers falling my little fashion show here, would we? May I injunct you? Inexplicably hostile puncture fix man to desist from further applications of steam by my person. My constitution is especially adversarially configured to that particular procedure. Well, you understand the deal. Pay up or steam up. There's no one the back, Doc. All right. This time, I don't lift up again. I hate to press you, but I must. There's more where that came from over at sky.com slash strangerers, if you game. Here on your good old TV, though, folk are expiring left, right and centre in another gripping third watch. From the makers of ER, by the way.